More Roblox games based on North Korea. I've talked about it before, but there's even more crazy laws in that country that you'd be surprised actually exist. And it's even more surprising that a lot of them can actually be found on Roblox. From games showcasing the North Korean black markets to others being as crazy as saving Dennis Daly from Kim Jong-un, I'm going to take a look at different Roblox North Korea games and then see what actually inspired them. So the first Roblox game is called Pyongyang, which is the capital of North Korea, and it's pretty much like an accurate representation of like the actual capital in North Korea. The place has some pretty interesting landmarks, has some propaganda, and oh, what's what's this here? Liars. Uh oh, I don't think uh, I don't think this person actually made it. It's even got some recognizable buildings, but uh, I actually wish that they included that one town that doesn't actually exist. Yeah, uh, pretty much North Korea created this town that seems to be very lovely, but many people believe that no one actually lives there. Here, take a look at this video. You might not have heard about Peace Village in North Korea. What is it, and who lives there? Yeah, those are the buildings so this there. this village, North Koreans like to call Peace Village village sits inside the demilitarized zone. According okay. to North Korea, there's over 200 residents that live there and there's a kindergarten, a school, and a hospital. In reality, no one actually lives in this town. It's a true ghost town and it's really just there to make North Korea look good for people who see it at the border. People say that if you zoom in on pictures of buildings there or get close enough to it, oh, there's no glass there's there? no actual glass in the windows. <laughs> They're all oh, wow, painted that's on. Crazy. But no one actually lives there. It's just to make Make sure the town looks good for onlookers. Ooh, that's kind of that's kind of spooky, actually. Yet North Korea is known for doing a lot of shady things, so this isn't really unusual. All right, so I've talked about this thumbnail before. It's this one. My little sister can't be a dictator. Yeah, it's uh, Kim Jong Un right there, along with his sister, looking like a ooh girl. <laughs> But let's see what the game actually has in store for us. Is this gonna be Ubu North Korea? Oh no, it's just uh very political. Okay, I'm in uh, I'm in a North Korean uniform and everything. Oh, this can't be good. <laughs> There's Kim Jong Un everywhere. He's watching me. Uh oh, what's this say here? Your mom. Wait, what the heck? Noob and then mom. Hi mom. Ah, what the heck? <laughs> Dude, this game just has like a lot of weird random propaganda for like North Korea. <laughs> they just have some of the landmarks here. Uh, but going back to the Ubu thumbnail of his sister. Sister. At one point, a lot of people on TikTok started actually like simping for Kim Jong Un's sister. Yeah, they would make like different fan cams for her and everything. But it should be well known that Kim Jong Un's sister is just as bad, if not even worse, than her brother. This is the most dangerous woman in the world. Let's see. Her name is Kim Yo Jong, and she is the sister of the dictator of North Korea, Kim Jong Un. Although she has lived most of her life privately, she is referred to as the second in command and closely advises her brother on allegedly committing awful acts on North Korea. Korean yep, citizens. this is true. She's allegedly been accused of forcing people who don't agree with her opinions into labor camps and censors the media to make her and her family look good. Not to mention course, the countless of amounts of people that she's been responsible for unaliving. In fact, when oh, the geez, president okay. of South Korea offered her country help, she told him to quote unquote shut his mouth. Ooh. She is the enforcer and is the one making all of the tough decisions behind the scenes, with many calling her role sinister and evil. She does look pretty creepy, actually. <laughs> Very serious. Why she finds though. Jeez, okay. Okay, hear me out. I can fix her. TikTok's too unhinged sometimes. Yet, one of the craziest things that she's done is uh, blow up this building here that was used as a communication tool for government officials from North Korea and South Korea to meet. Yeah, and the whole thing is crazy because South Korea actually paid for this building to be made as a peace offering to North Korea, and uh, and instead, she just blew it up. Korean experts say the explosion was designed to cement the growing power of Pyongyang leader Kim Jong-un's younger sister, Kim Yeah, there she is. She is tipped to become the next leader of the volatile hermit kingdom. Is she? Is she going to become the leader? Man, that's scary. All right, but another crazy Roblox game based off of North Korea is Rescue Dennis Daly from North Korea Abi. Yeah, so this is, uh, this is YouTube. Dennis Daly. And the description here says, Dennis Daly committed a war crime in North Korea. Rescue him from Kim Jong Um. <laughs> okay. Fine, let, let's check this one out. Is that the most insane thing? It's totally a possible thing that could actually happen in real life. We need to find Dennis and escape North Korea now. All right, on it, boss. Let me just jump right through the nukes while dodging bullets from the North Koreans. <laughs> oh, gosh. We don't have much time left. Hurry before the guards spot us. All right, let me just get through this maze and avoid the North Korean guards here. <laughs> Oh no, I got attacked by one of them. All right, where's Dennis? Dennis is through the fire! All right, let's go. Let's go rescue him. Dennis, we're here for you, buddy. I think that's where Dennis is. What, in that building with the nuclear missile? All right, let's go. You need to save Dennis from Kim Jong-un before he explodes the nuke and kills us all. Okay, fine. Where is he? Where's Kim Jong- Oh, is this, is this Kim Jong-un? I'm gonna kill Dennis daily. 
<laughs> Why is his head gone? I mean, at least they got his body size right. Okay, there's Dennis. Let's just uh, free him here. Dennis, Dennis, what are you doing? Oh. What the heck happened to Dennis there? Dennis, are you- ah! They brainwashed him. I'm sorry, I couldn't save you. See, now while that game may seem insane, it's not too far off with influencers being in North Korea. Like even the K-pop group Red Velvet performed in North Korea. Look, there they are shaking hands with him. Apparently Kim Jong-un actually like sent for one of them. She's enjoying herself. Are they like not allowed to smile or something? The president said Irene was his bias. <laughs> Is that actually true? Yeah, and as far as North Korea actually kidnapping people, well, they did at one point kidnap a South Korean film director and his wife just so they could make movies for the Supreme Leader. Here, take a look. In 1978, North Korean agents kidnapped South Korean film director Shin Sang Ok and his wife, actress Cho Yun Wee for the yep, sole yep. purpose of producing critically acclaimed films. Yeah, apparently the supreme leader Kim Jong-il really loved films, so he kidnapped them so they could make films just for him. The two remained in captivity for eight years, until eight 1986, years? when they escaped and sought asylum in the United States. Shin continued to produce and direct films in America. Dude, that's awesome that even after he escaped, he continued to do what he loved. Yeah, so on the Wikipedia, it says that he was abducted in Hong Kong, and then six months later, his wife would get abducted. After three years in prison, Shin was united with Choi and the two were instructed by Kim Jong-il to make films for him in order to gain global recognition in the North Korea's film industry. That's a thing. After making many films for Kim in 1986, Choi and Shin escaped from North Korean supervision to a US assembly while in Vienna. But yeah, they made a lot of North Korean films such as their own Godzilla movies, Polgasari. Glad that they escaped though. This is an update picture of them many years after they had escaped North Korea. They look extremely happy and honestly it's crazy that they were stuck in North Korea for eight years. How about we take a look at this game, North Korea 1980 or we could see a more accurate rendition of North Korea outside of the city. Yeah, so here's some of the buildings and houses. I actually like the aesthetic of this game. It looks really interesting. Uh, so what's here? Oh, jeez, I don't know how to speak this language. Oh yeah, there's the Supreme Leaders up there. Always gotta have those in the markets. So I'm not actually sure. Are these supposed to be like the black markets in North Korea? Yeah, for those of you who don't know, since many North Korean people are incredibly poor, they're often forced to open black markets. A and yes, it's incredibly illegal, but the government has become more lenient towards them because a majority of North Koreans have become dependent on black markets for their survival. Oh yeah, this image kind of looks similar to the one from the game. Yeah, it's a lot of stuff that they sell there is street food, car batteries, rice cookers, cosmetics, DVD players, motorcycles. Many of the brand labels on goods for sale are fake and pretend to be South Korean made goods. Oh, that's actually uh, kind of smart in a way. Yeah, here's some more images of people literally selling goods from their backs and even some just cooking alongside the streets. Yeah, the whole thing is insane. And what's crazy is that a lot of these Roblox games aren't so far off from the truth. But yeah, if you guys like this video, don't forget to subscribe. Goodbye.